Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I am Ashley, a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist, so please don't get it twisted. If you hear my kids in the background, my daughter has some friends playing and I know you see the background change. Um, so don't mind the noise. Kids are kids and there will be noise. Uh, now that disclaimers and everything are out of the way, I ordered from Odin's Eye because I love their Nords palette and they just came out with the new Freya Saga. So I bought the bow. We're gonna do an unboxing. Are you guys excited? As excited as I am? I did buy the bow because I'm a big child and I know 29, I shouldn't want a bow, but I can't tie a bow to save my life. So I bought one pre-tied pre so that I can clip it in the bottom of my braids. It's as simple as that. I'm a grown child. That's it, that's all. And came a cute little like recyclable bag, which I will reuse for I don't know what purposes, but purposes. I got a new lipstick from them because I love their matte lip stains. I have the Apricot Girl and Papaya, right Papaya. So I went ahead and bought the shade Plum Perfect. Plum, no, no, that is not the name. Peach Plum. It's this nice little like burgundy shade. And I bought the Amber Tears palette. So she had, they, she had Odin's Eye came out with three different palettes. They came out with one that is like the Saga of Freya and it's like cute, it's like a little book. It had two different nine pan palettes on one side. They also came out with one more, the Cat something or other. Um, I have way too many like tealy blue shades in my collection. Although I wanted to buy both of those palettes specifically for the shimmers, your girl couldn't see buying a palette with nine shades in them and not getting as much use as I should out of palette. So I went with the one that I knew I didn't have very many colors like. Let's talk about the outer packaging for a moment. Like they even went as far as to like put detailing on the spine of the book. Like how cute is that? I can't, I can't, it's too damn adorable. Look, the spine has writing, how cute. Um, and then you open her up and she looks like this. How cute and adorable, I love this. Let's swatch some of these shimmers because that is what my heart sings for. This is pink ice and this it no, no, I lied. This is tears and this is pink ice. And I don't think the camera is going to pick it up, but the shifts in these shades are stunningly gorgeous. So I have a look that I have been dying to do in mind. So let's just, I have a cat hair. Good Lord everywhere I go okay so I have a look in mind I'm going to look crazy psychotic before I start to look put together so bear with it trust the process is all I'm going to say I'm priming my eyelids with the age rewind also other disclaimer don't mind Fred he came to just out to play last night it's just just Fred hey Fred how you doing <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off with the shade Skin. And I'm going to do, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Um, also, so the Tears of Amber, they say that this is based on North, Miso North, no, Swedish mythology. What is that word? What's the word I'm looking for? Mythology? Am I saying that right? Swedish mythology. Mm -hmm. And according to them, Freya is a goddess. And when she cries, her tears run into, hold on, the story is on here somewhere. I have the story, hold on, hold on. Anyways, when she cried, her tears, ran into the wood, into the mud or something, and then it ran into something else, and then it turned into amber. So, hence, amber tears. So I'm going to focus all the color right here on the inner corner. Keep 
keeping most of the color payoff right here in the front of the lid and then just kind of lightly dusting it outwards. Now I'm going to go in with a gape. Now that it looks something like this, I'm going to take some NYX glitter glue. I use NYX glitter glue with just about every eyeshadow glitter ever known to mankind. And I'm going to dab this from the center outwards. And going into pink ice, I'm going to pick that up and dust that all along where I placed down that glitter glue. I'm going to pop off, finish the other eye, and do my the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So, I figured that since this is an Odin's eye, again, don't mind the babies. They're over there playing, all of them, my little children. Um, I'm going to go in with their blusher, their Ava Fruit Blusher in Ripe Papaya. Since this is an Odin's eye video, I should use all of it, all of Odin's eye. So now that both eyes look like this, I'm going to go in with the shade Amethyst and run this along my lower lash line. Kind of winging it out. And now that I have that the way I want it, I'm going to go in with the shade Tears. And I'm going to run this really closely. Okay, I can't pronounce this, but I'm going to go into this shade right here and pop this on the inner corner. So my thoughts on this collection. I love it. I love this little bow. I think it's super well made. It's nice. This palette is good quality. The only shade is in the swatches. I felt like this skin shade came off a little bit deeper than it is on eye. It's still really beautiful. I think it would be a little too pastel for someone um, like a few shades deeper than me. I, for reference, am in Pat McGrath. Um, light medium 14 and in the Dior backstage foundation I am 2OW so that's my skin tone reference um, but with that being said I think this palette is super cute I love the shimmers same Odin's eye quality that's all for today's video and I shall catch you in the next one bye